I think one of the biggest reasons that I got into teaching was because I wanted to encourage young people to be lifelong learners. I teach my students how to be problem solvers. Doesn't matter if you're in the food industry or the broadcasting industry. Sometimes things don't go your way. How are you going to respond? I want kids to feel confident in knowing their content and confident that they can go and conquer anything. Every day that those students walk through those doors, we have an opportunity to make an impact. Any little progress is progress. And so they, they have that mindset that eventually I'm going to get there. A lot of times those students, uh, we're the best thing they're going to see uh, every day sometimes. I want you to quickly tell your neighbor what is one thing you learned about the trenches today that you did not know before today. To be an effective teacher, there's two main things you have to have. One, you have to have a passion for what you're teaching. I definitely have a passion for history and, and learning from our history and being able to take our history and make it relatable to what they are doing in, to, in today's society and, to, and in today's world. But I also think it also is relational. I think you have to be able to connect with your students. I think being able to connect in a way that is um, personal. Oh, summer got hit. Uh, but yet finding opportunities to motivate them in their own lives is really important. The administration here at Southside has been wonderful. You know, this is my 10th year, and uh, they've been supportive throughout. So you take that uh, with great coworkers. Make room for the hair salon, okay? That way when we put it on Facebook, people know what it's about. Uh, and you gotta wanna do it. You've gotta love kids. Good job. It's more than just a textbook. It's about being able to use those math and those reading skills in their everyday lives. Awesome last night! We want them to go out in the world and be able to pull back some of those skills that they learned. If you come in and you're approachable and you're welcoming and they'll feel safe and they'll feel more ready, they can trust you. I love it. Things that a community needs because society and community are they can uh, count on you to answer their questions, but you have to be able to make yourself approachable. I teach in the Jackson Madison County School System because I feel like we get opportunities for professional development. Our school district is special because of the students. We got to use every opportunity we have to get better, to work on our skills. Because when you give them that option and that opportunity, I've seen time after time them step up to the plate. So every single day that we're in front of our students, it's an opportunity for us to make a significant impact uh, and possibly change the trajectory of a young person's life just by the fact that we're investing our time and effort into them, making them the best possible students they can be. I am Adam Simpson. I'm Greg Hammond. I am Karen Edwards. I am Zuleen Trout. I am Eugene Clark. I'm Eric Jones. And I am. And I'm. And I. And I am Jackson Madison County Schools. And I am Jackson Madison County Schools. To learn more, go to jmcss.org.